fucking real. And that really bothers you, doesn't it? No, I like the playful ones. I just don't like the ones that... are plotting my murder when they look at me. We're plotting, waiting for you to die. Yeah, that too. That's what I wonder. That's really what I wonder they're doing. They just can't. They just go wherever I go, like in case I die. That's why. That's why. That's what you guys are doing, huh? Yep. And the other four were hiding behind your computer network just to get a lot of cover and do almost like a ro rotating door to uh, to do one at, at a time. Dude, I'm so fucking scared, I can't even get those together right now. Wow. I don't care if people think you're saying I'm a fucking insane crybaby. I think only people who've never seen them could say that. That's what I was trying to get at, thanks. I, I think, I think of like 90 or higher percentage of the world of people has no clue about these things. That, that, that they're there. A little too close. I don't, I don't know how to deal with that, but when you see that, you can't say anything to it because he doesn't talk back. Yeah, they can't make a sound. But you're trying to establish some kind of some kind of connection. Yeah, it's something. They've hung tapestries for me. They, they hang tapestries with, like, this really crazy, fancy, like, uh, Celtic writing on it. And I can't read it. Oh, yeah, it. Celtic, huge fan. It, well, I don't know if it's a... It's, like, no writing I've ever seen. It looks really... Like, they're obviously trying to communicate. I've seen them do sign language to me, but they're doing the sign language too fast, and I don't know sign language. The only way I can communicate that, but the weird thing is, is they show me tapestries in some of their language when they can understand English. Mm -hmm. I've had them hand me a, a bottle before with like, with writing on it. It was like, I, I could see it like really well, but I thought it was there to kill me. I was like, what the fuck? I don't know where it so oh, even in the dark, there was no mistake. If someone was able to link up my eyes to a camera, just for evidence. Uh, encounters with them. I it just it looked like it was gonna kill me. It was so like all these other ones are like, yay, we're happy. They, you can they can see us now, but that thing stared me down. I couldn't even see that. They were like perpendicular. Dude, they were happy to see you. Except for that one. You think law enforcement just tried to clean up the image to, you know, help the fight. Uh, like, more on the drugs. It's not even a thing anymore, is it? The war on drugs. You remember ever hearing that when you were moving yeah. The war isn't even on drugs, though. It's on not anymore. It's on personal freedom. It's never been on drugs. Yeah, that's what it's evolved. Cause I'm like, they I say that's stepping the right forward. They say that it's the war on drugs, but that's totally not what it's the war on. It's on personal freedom. Because if the war were on drugs, it'd be pretty easy to. I mean, they need the drugs. That, like, that's how they siphon like probably half the income that they like find people for and run, put them through the system. If drugs were legal, they wouldn't be. They wouldn't make nearly as much money. They need the drugs to be there. Be, the government has even been, been caught many times uh, getting large amounts of opium into the country deliberately. And what you just said is not the first time I've heard of this. It's absolutely true. Who was I talking to about? They need the drugs to be there. The government's largely responsible for a lot of the drugs that are in play. I do not love what just happened over there, man. 
Yeah, it's a values changer. It's like the Grim Reaper itself. Like the I real don't know, man. That's it was like the real one without its outer shell that everyone has come to learn and love. That's the vibe I got off that thing. And the other four were just dancing around, messing with us, doing little tricks with the snake and all that. The red eyes, I was like, whoa, dude, you guys are fucking cool. And then uh, it was just a blank, cold, dead scare from this last one. And um, I don't know what to say. Other than there's no questioning that they're actually real? I'm pretty sure it, uh, yeah. it's one of those things you have to see it to believe it. Yeah, it is. Truly through and throughout. Absolutely. And I know that. That's why I've been trying to do it with so many people. Everyone keeps turning me down except for... John is actually probably the most intrigued by it. He wants to do it every time he comes over here. But, I mean, once the Tepentanol runs out, they're just going to go away. Other than being able to feel them, I don't need to be able to, I don't have to take anything to feel them. If I wiggle my fingers, like... It takes a bit, I'm not feeling anything yet. Yep. What did you just do? I can feel them on my pointer finger. It feels like it feels like a piece of thread is being pulled in and out, like through my finger right here. Huh. They just, they know this gesture right here. Whenever I do this, it's like they're dogs. I see it. And now they're gathering around, except for the creepy dude. You can actually see it right now. I guess, I guess it's affecting you better than it is me, because I can't see it. Well, there's two directly, more directly behind you, and then they move, so... Where... That's crazy. No one will be able to see them right there behind the TV. That's crazy you can see them with the lights on. I rarely can see them with the lights on. And when I do, it's just like a streak. I'll see, like... The most memorable streak that I've ever had was those claw marks. But usually I just like see like like a little streak go like that. I don't see that when I'm completely sober. I have to be on either Benadryl or Tepentyl or both or different hydronate. Yeah, this is the weirdest part about it is feeling them. But they only seem to be able to interact with your right hand and just and until just recently your antenna. That might have just been when it occurred to me. They probably have always been able to interact with your antenna coming out of the back of your head, but it's just that's when it's occurred to me that they can do that. They can fucking they can put thoughts in your mind. They're, they can put memories in your mind. What's weird is they don't bother with my left hand at all. I've tried reaching at them with just my left hand. They don't give a fuck about that. I don't want, I don't want to fucking mess with this shit, dude. It's got me. Like, I've got fear of... Just... Uh, what you doing in the system right now? I can't even help it. Have you ever been so scared of something that you can uh, recover from it? In a dream, yeah. I don't think in real life... You don't think you're going to be able to recover from this? Yeah. It sounds like you're more sensitive to the chemical than I am. Because you were seeing them, like, way before I was with the lights off. For me, it takes, like, three minutes to even be able to see them. Or, yeah, between a minute and a half and three minutes. You were seeing them, like, 45 seconds into it, so... Your, your antenna right now must be glowing. Your, your uh, perception... You know, your... Whatever it is that changes your your perception. I get it. Yeah. Yours is probably glowing twice as brightly as mine. 
but it's also amplifying the headache, which is, oh my god, I'm fucking mad at this thing, man, I wanted to just chill with this shit. You're mad at what thing? The thing that just popped up behind me, it almost gave me a heart attack. Oh. It's totally ruined it for me. I guess if I'd have known that was gonna happen, I might not have. Yeah, I mean, I've had a big reaction before, like I said earlier, when it got it, one of them got its mouth around me, it started, like, little teeth inside of its mouth were, like, coming at me, like, and, like, biting me, but I couldn't feel it. That's the only time I've ever been like, <gasps> like you did. Run to the lights. And then I can turn on the lights and it made me panic even more. Yeah, this shit is, this shit is weird, man. It's beyond weird. It's beyond anything. Dude, it, it makes me feel like I'm dreaming. Like, I've had more, like, believable stuff happen in dreams than this. Yeah, I didn't doubt for a second that you were telling the truth, no matter how crazy it sounded, because you're not that guy to make shit up like this. Yeah. And I'd say that in the nicest way possible, I really do. Yeah, I don't make shit up. At least not around me or with me. Yeah. Um, it, it's been all fun and games. I don't need some fucking thing. <laughs> I don't need some fucking thing. Plotting my goddamn murder. And, and and messing with your thoughts. In purposely scaring me. He was like a... Uh, the Grim Reaper, but with like... Some of these street clothes. Flabbergasted? Shocked. Appalled. No. Like one out of ten, oh. or like a nine or a ten? That would be considered appalled, right? Or is that like anger with fear? It's like anger with fear, and then there's another one. I forgot what it was, but first thing popped into my mind was that thing was gonna kill me. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Really. Like for real? Oh. Yeah, like I guess you could have easily just like stuck a knife right here. Cool. Did it have a knife? No, it didn't. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't know what I'm up against. I can barely comprehend that these things are even here. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to see anything more than... Um, damn, what am I saying? Yeah, so let's do something else. I gotta get my mind off of this. It's so fucking baffling. Baffling? Yeah, that, that shit is going on. It's so quiet. Yeah, I can, Just like the movies. I can agree. It's just like the movies. Have you ever seen Odd Thomas? Oh, it'll happen. Jason's friend, it will happen. Have you ever seen Odd Thomas, the movie? Yep. So, yeah. You have seen that movie. So, yeah, that shit's for real. Isn't that fucking crazy? I have no words. Yeah. I don't know, I hate tripping at night. I But don't let it ruin it for you if you still want to, you know. Well I've done, down it, in the dark. I've done it so many times. Like I was I was almost yeah. as freaked out as you at first, dude. But I, I, I totally wasted it. Seems like You mean you wasted the um to paint it all? Yeah, because I freaked out and had to stop like six minutes. As soon as you start realizing, like, what's going on. Yeah, dude, it's not, so, it's not something that I have been, have been able to stop thinking about since, it, since I've realized what's actually going on. I could have thought we were talking indirectly about it earlier when we said... It knows what we're saying. Um, when I said... What was it? They know what we're saying, dude. I've asked it. I've asked it yes or no questions. Nod yes or no. 
and they actually, I asked them if they were demons, they said no. I asked them if they were dead, my dead brother, they said no. Uh, let's see, what else did I ask them? They, they, stopped a, they stopped answering questions after like three. I remember I, like, after like the third question, they just started like dancing around, they just weren't interested. That's all right, man. I mean, it sounds like in Bodogs, dude. I don't need this shit. It was fun in games, but not anymore, man. That was. It was fun in games going into it. Once your thing made a move, man. I don't like moves. No. The things that are like six, six inches. Yeah, way too close. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. I think your description sounds pretty easy to uh, easy to imagine. Two out of the three experiences, I at least got it to uh, do this properly. Like you know, it lights off. I think every time you've done Enjoy it, the show. every time you've done it, the shit gets realer. Like the first time, you didn't really see much. The second time, that's when you realize. That's when you were second guessing. It sounds like this time was like the breakthrough. Like. No, for sure. Yep, man, I'm, I'm good, man. That's fine. I can't do it. I don't need proof anymore. Yeah. All right. The thing, the thing that freaks me out is what, like, the element of dying. I think that the yeah, the fact that I'm a hypochondriac multiply that by what. Even on the safe side, two out of town. You probably don't have a bracelet though. If you have a bracelet on, then you're like you're tagged. They, I'm pretty sure that they they follow people around that have the bracelet on. Did I just finish my thought? I can't remember really ten yeah. Well, then, well, man. Are you still wanting to do this though? I, I could just go smoke and, you know, for a while, but I can't be in here right now. You don't even want to be in here even with the lights on? There's no getting away from them. They, they'll, they follow you wherever you go. They're, they're not just in here. So as soon as I turn the corner to drive off, that thing is practically in the back seat the whole time. I don't know if any of them follow you. We should, I didn't look to see if you have a bracelet. I have, they put bracelet on me that I can't get off, and I'm braceleted. That means I think they follow me wherever I go. But you might not have them follow you. Well, one did open uh, the back door after I closed it to smoke right before we um, shut the lights off, and uh, that was sighting number one. Still kind of my size, um, but that was different. That was like. A, I looked left, I and I looked right, and it looks like a meat, uh, fucking murderer without any kind of facial recognition. Yeah, the fat guy with no face. And I honestly thought it was a real dude, like about to fucking stab me. Did it have a knife? But I know you believe like all of it because. Yeah, dude, I, I totally do, man. I've seen some shit. Yeah, I'm a big pussy. I need to stop. That's all right. Yeah, I was really freaked out when I first started seeing them. I thought I was just going crazy. Until until I realized I could feel them physically. And I was like, oh my god, there's no way. I don't think you can hallucinate a feel. Hello? Yeah? Hi. Oh gosh, you know, you know, you know what's happening to me. Right now? We know what's been happening. Hmm. Absolutely gone. Oh. Yeah, man, I'm done. I can't handle it. Alright. We can just play Chaos or something. If you ever change your mind, just let me know. Do you want to go outside? Goes pretty far down the rabbit hole. Don't you know evidence? Yeah, no, you mean no evidence you can bring back, other than just in your head? 
Yeah, well, I couldn't take a picture. Maybe yeah. It's black, even with the flash. There's probably some... I've tried recording them with a camera, and it doesn't pick them up, but I bet there is some kind of recording medium. There's got to be, like, X-ray or or gamma ray, maybe even that, that, that switch light that David used to record box offs in, where it's, like, light out. It still looks light, but it's dark. I, bet, I wonder if a camera with that shit could pick them up. Yeah, it was cool. First four minutes, I was really word for word verbatim. I said, "I'm jacked up for this," and uh, man, what the fuck? It's a little off foot by what just happened. I hope you understand it. Yeah, I would understand more than anyone. Something, something ain't right. Well, I figured I'd talk to you about it first before I started getting ye uh, yelly at it. But, yeah, that's kind of... fucking totally threatening. If they could do something... Yeah. Like, if they can uncloak, like, the Predator... I don't know if they can do that, but it looks like they're in the cloaked, like, you know, in the Predator see-through cloak. Yep. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're like that, but it, just imagine if they could uncloak and be physically there. Then we'd be going to war. Yeah. Metaphorically, I'm not going to go by an arsenal, but I'd run to the nearest town. Who would be the best person to talk to if you could really... Micah? Lost it and somebody could do something for you, like a mm, healthcare professional or something along those lines. Oh man, I don't think a healthcare professional would understand like I do. Unless they've seen them themselves, they might they might try to get you committed like to a mental hospital or something if you told like uh, like an actual Psych psychiatrist or psychologist or whatever the hell. I had no problem. Uh, what is it? Uh, my mind is locked by something. Um, you mean like on a regular basis it's locked to not be able to see them? Kind of like in the movie They Live. That movie. Like they're using something to block our senses so we can't see them. I wonder if how much truth there is to they live, dude. That they're actually like, because they're just outside of our normal sensories. They're like undetectable by just being sober. I didn't like the way that thing was looking at me. I had to. I was gonna like. Start making too much noise to go out the front door, upstairs or something, and just go to, straight to the hospital. Cause, uh, man, I was scared for my life when I saw that thing. Yeah, I could, I could see. Oh my God, you do have a really good square. You had a really good square up there. Take forever if I keep talking. Forever to like, get over it? Yeah. That too. Can you get over something like this? No. It stays in the back of your head forever. At least for me. But it can get easier to get used to. I've just kept, I've just done it so many times and checked them out so many times, I'm just used to it. It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like uh, if somebody got a pet, a pet lion, like just imagine if you're, like somebody you live with just bought a pet lion that's in the house with you. At first you'd be really freaking scared by it, but then you just get used to it. That's kind of the way I am with the Bodox. Mm. 
I was fucking scared too. Scared for your life or scared for your mental? For my mental projection. Projection. I just, I just didn't want to see, like, like a whole bunch of little mouth teeth biting at my face while I'm inside of a giant mouth. But they've only done that one time ever. I've got regrets. About what? Well, I wanted you to do the Botox tonight because, you know, great opportunity to do that. Nothing else going on as far as I know of because I, I go driving every night and fucking literally no one is out except for cops and construction. And if they are out, they're like coming back from work. No one's hanging out anywhere. Fucking nothing. And, uh, that your big plan was shot down, like, in a way that you didn't see coming? That you were looking forward to this and it didn't turn out the way you wanted it? That's what it sounded like, you were, where you were going with it. Has the freaked outness diminished at all, or are you still brutal, as brutally freaked out as you were when you saw it, like, an hour ago? I think, the uh, I think I'm reaching some new heights with it. Holy fuck, dude. Well, before, I thought, hey, look at the cute goes, you know, it's playing on set station. Uh, second time, I got to see him. Got freaked out, but I got over it, like, I don't know, an hour or two later. Um, this is different, man. I'm done. I forget. I don't want to see Every you. time you've done it, it's just gotten, like, there's a new tier of, like, absolutely a new depth down the rabbit hole. I'm you're going as far down the hole as you want to go. Now you're climbing back out. By the sound of it. I really wanted that thing to explain itself. Because I know what mean looks like. I know, man. I, I Fuck. There's so many questions that I have that I... More than anything, I want to know. It was a stranger of the group. I want to know more than anything what those things are, what their intentions are, how they got here, when they got here. I'd like to know that more than anything. Anything. Seriously. Yep, went from entertaining to... What the fuck in five minutes flat. I'm so pissed I lost. Precious resources. My whole fucking night. This is gone. Yeah, shit, dude. I wouldn't have got you into this if I knew that was going to happen. I feel, I feel to blame for that. Well, there's no good way of, at the moment I can say uh, that better, but... Uh, what were we just talking about, like, two uh, conversations ago? The Botox. Okay, the Botox. And how we really need answers from them. Yeah. Which answers are, are those again? Where did they come from? What are their intentions? How did they get here? And, um, are they everywhere on the planet or just following me around? Like, I don't, but that's what I really want to know. Like, are those things really common and they're everywhere or, or am I just tagged and I know I've been tagged. They put a fucking bracelet on me that I really can't get off. It looks like braille. It looks like, uh, not bumps, but it's holes. There's like, it's like a, a bunch of little holes in it, in this, like, specific pattern. It looks like, it's like braille, basically the size of little bumps, but, like, holes. It's like, what the fuck does this mean? The only thing I can think of is that the bracelet means that I'm tagged and they're they're assigned to me. And that's what makes it so difficult when no one believes you. Right? Because you can't get any help. Yeah, well, if I were to tell her... Or, like, equipment or anything, really, without somebody, what, making fun of you or... Or throwing me in a, in a psych award. Psych award. Which is probably what a therapist would do if... It, or... 
I'd end up in like the back of a um, like taxi or something. For an example. I'm trying to find a rational explanation for what I saw. Well, either we've been invaded by aliens from somewhere or they've always been there and we've just never been aware of it because we've never had the chemicals that it takes to see them and they're just they're just like you know creatures like me and you on this planet but in a different dimension yeah I'm sure there are I'm sure there's multiple different dimensions where we can't see our vision only yeah, that I do believe our senses only can see a very small spectrum of what's actually real so I'm hoping it's that one that those are just, just like the creatures, just like you or me, in some higher dimension where they have better technology, or they're demons from hell, and the shit, in, or and the Bible tells more truth than you think. Aren't demons that walk the earth uh, instantly? Uh, they gain man's mortality, like they can die if they're immortal once they cross over. I don't think it goes, I think it's only a one-way trip. So when you go to hell, you're... No, I mean, I mean, from, they can't come to our dimension, but we can go to theirs when we die. Oh, like I, that. I'm pretty sure they're stuck in their, in that dimension. Maybe when you die, you just go, you move up one dimension. It's just fucking figures. It's, it's right on top of my mountain of fucking... Unbelievable goddamn horse shit going on that's out of my control. Uh, this incident wasn't that bad. That bad. Uh, enough to scare me and never want to do it again. Uh, yeah, I'm so ready to finish this or play this. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, that should have been the reaction I would, I would have. But I just find it too interesting. It's just too, I don't know, I guess I've always been a fan of, like, the intrepid bizarre. And that's 10 out of 10 in, like, bizarre and intrepid. Even though it's, it doesn't, even though it's scary, dude. It's like, it's like the real Bloody Mary. Like, I used to think that that was so much bullshit when I went to school. People look in the mirror in the dark and say Bloody Mary a bunch of times in the summer. Now, I'm not so, I, I bet there's really something to that. Oh, there really is something to that. Did you hear about that girl who fl who freaked the fuck out at Northridge and ran home and never came back to school? That was before my time. But you did hear about that? No. Oh. There was a girl that did Bloody Mary in the bathroom and just, f like, freaked out and left. I think she was Katie Wagner. That sounds like a completely real experience, like, by her reaction. First few times I was trying to see the boat dogs. Uh, had a lot of fun. And now I. It's different every time. I'm so fucking shocked and baffled I can't even speak. I, I can't concentrate on anything. Uh, whew. You mean even playing the game? I don't like fucking murderous looking ghosts in my face, man. That's unwarranted. It's uncool. It's like completely ruining my night. Wow, what time were you going to bed? I didn't really have a plan. I guess after the game, but if you do not, you just not want to really do anything. You can't get your head together. I, yeah, I can. I can't just get out of this shock. Holy shit! It looks so real. Like more real than me. And all I had to do was break my neck because I was breathing the same air as in pro, probably in distance. Um, I probably should have just uh, pushed him in his chest just to see. If I could get my hand through, but uh, he was holding something. He was the only one 
Yeah, if you try pushing him in the chest, your hands just go right through. He's the only one not doing anything except fixating on me like he wanted to kill me while the other four in here were all, uh, they seem really happy. I don't know. Is that just me or I'm... Oh, yeah. I, dude, I see him, I've seen him do yo-yo tricks. I've seen him dance like Elvis doing a moonwalk. Or, you know, Michael Jackson. Usually they're doing something pretty, uh, pretty humorous. But sometimes they're, they're just completely unpredictable, man. You never know what you're gonna get. Engaging him. I've seen him do so many different things. Amen. Cheers. One thing they do a lot is try to hand me stuff. That I can handle. Uh, I've had him try to hand me like what looks like a harmonica, a bottle, a lighter. I've, I've even seen one of them throw a soccer, like a little soccer ball at me, and I caught it, and the soccer ball was a whole bunch of bugs, and the bu it just came apart, and the bugs started crawling all over me. It was like maybe a hundred bugs that it threw at me that were just like bug ball. As soon as I catch it, they all like just disperse, start crawling all over my arms. And some of them do the same thing that they did the last time. And the time before that, I'm actually kind of mad at that Bodox that killed my goddamn fucking night that I've been waiting for all fucking day. Shit. Yeah. <clears throat> As Trent Reznor say, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. It's about as fitting of a situation as it gets as far as my cores go. Really fun ones. I'm gonna sound like such a crazy asshole, no one will believe me, but I don't give a shit. What, just talking about the Bodox? Yeah. Well, that makes two of us. That sound like crazy assholes. Unbelievable. Sorry, man. Dude, I'm sure... I just did not mean to get greedy and just end this. I'm sure the government knows about them. They've got to. You just don't hear a thing about it from them. Everything was going great the first four minutes. I don't know what happened. The gang all arrives at the exact time they were scheduled. And, uh, I never want to do it again to that fucking thing. Can't fucking concentrate. Turning into different people's voices are all the last uh, stages of it for all. Um, according to, like, the doctors, WebMD. Hearing, hearing voices? Um, yeah, that's one of them. Like, I went into WebMD and typed in on um, Tramadol uh, to find out, like, what I'm really up against. Because the first time we were watching videos, there were some ideas from her, some ideas from the old, old man. The old, old man. Like, it, it was just like, um, it didn't really, like, uh, it wasn't telling me what I needed to know uh, until I went to WebMD and... There's like 20 really serious um, symptoms that happen when someone stops taking it abruptly. And, uh, yeah, I guess... Uh, Hearing voices one of them? Yeah, that's a big one, according to what I'm doing. Yep. Hearing voices, which... Which you have? I don't understand why they're going to put that on there and have something called depersonalization. Like being in John, like being John Malkovich, having multiple people. Oh yeah, we had this talk. Yeah, that's what that that's what that reminds me of depersonalization. I'll like, buy that. Like you don't know who you are. Like you're you're identifying as like multiple different people. 
I've had that happen on acid. I'm staring in the mirror and I, I, I don't know how this thought came to mind, but I was feeling like multiple, like different, multiple different people, like, like if the sperm in my nutsack, like if those were to all like grow up into people, I was feeling like the personalities of like each one of my sperm or like the thoughts for like a few seconds at a time. I had something really, if not more insane happen. You be the judge, but um, they were doing the same thing except uh, in a different fashion with me. It was like for eight days. Oh. Uh -huh. Gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs>